Welcome back to the King Sly YouTube channel. I'm Sly T, and today we will be checking out another Mr. Snowflake video. This is on King Cobra JFS. I know nothing about King Cobra. It's my first time ever seeing him, but it's been requested. So let's go ahead. Let's see what it's all about. King Cobra JFS. I know where you're coming from. My partner was filthy too. <laughs> but you got to. What a start. Oh, he's an alcoholic? Thing. I mean, occasionally, yes, you got to control it. Hey, you can have a little drink here and there, man. And being a bug nest, that puts your health at risk. Bug nest? You know, it, it happens. A lot of people do it. Just hang in there. Who is this? Is it? This is it. not him. I saw. He looked and crazy. This cannot be him. Slowly try to clean up the apartment. That's all. I mean, I'm with you. The maniacs are with you. If you need any help, the maniacs. contact me again. I'm not looking down on you because a lot of people go through that and even worse. Okay, so he's a little sympathetic for him. I, I don't know what who this dude is, but you. he's showing love. And I hope you can get back on some training, some water drinking, healthy eating. Some water get drinking. Get some get some good sleep. Detoxify yourself for a little while. He's That's giving him some good what do you think about feedback. That well, looks like I have to make a video on King Cobra now. Oh, that's the snowflake, Nick. Okay. I like the bag over the head. It's just dropping in there like Oh, that. God, that oven is disgusting. That's what he mean by filthy. Oh, God. Oh, I would, my girl would never let us cook up that. Oh, it's burning. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, my God. That escalated. What is that? Oh, I thought that was the yeah. kitchen. It rises. What? A wizard? I, I was down. It's out. Yeah, it's fire, yeah. Hi there. Pigeon. He's an animal. Oh, God. He looks I don't even terrible. Know. <laughs> there used to be a show on Ooh. HBO Kids, maybe. HBO Kids, I think it was, and it was, um, there used to be a show on HBO Kids, right? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta look this up, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, what's it called? There used to be this movie that they used to play, HBO Kids, and they used to call him Frog Face, but what was that movie called? Um... He had the rhino. He had like a rhino belt buckle too. Um, movie with rhino. He used to the Nick used to get teased all the time. He uh, he was like a kid in the school. He looked crazy. They called him a cricket. Really, kid movie with rhino belt buckle. Or is it? Um, oh man, I can't find it. Uh, if I find it, I'll post it in, um, I'll post it right here. But yeah, the dude looked just like him, man. He looks just like him. The dude from the show. All right, continue. He's an animal lover. Got Ooh. it. I think it might be a pigeon. I'm not sure. Hey, little guy, you're a YouTube star. <laughs> Those are the back seats. I put my hands in the back window and I growled at it. The demonic, basically. What? And I'm sorry. I was trying to find it. tongue, basically. So it's a leaf. Hold on. What Roll did he it. say? He Never said he's demonic. Rolled I mean, it with I his tongue. What? Sure. You little guy, you're a YouTube star. <laughs> Those are the back seats. I put my hands in the back window, and I growled at it. The demonic, basically. And I growled at it in demonic tongue, basically. So it's a leaf. Throw away. Never come back. And it did just that. So, okay. So, so nigga just watch. They just watch him drink and smoke mad cigarettes. That That's, this is what they be doing. This is, and then they just troll him. So they watch him just get drunk, drunk, drunk and smoke. Not too bad for my first exorcism. What? <laughs> what? Wait a minute. You just whispered at a leaf. That's what I heard. You whispered at a leaf and that's an exorcism. So it's a leaf. Throw or is he saying a leaf? I growl at it in demonic, basically. And I growl at it in demonic tongue, basically. So it's a leaf. So it's a Throw leaf. Away. Throw, Throw away. 
never come back or is he saying and leave it did just that and it and it did so, just oh he's saying leave and it did just that okay so so he leave. just looked at something so it's a leave go away i told never it to leave back. go away and, and it did. It did. okay so let me get this straight exorcism now we all seen exorcist movies any type emily rose the exorcist alone anything uh the the conjuring there has never been an exorcism <laughs> that they just told them, hey, y'all, yeah, you got to go. And they're like, oh, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I must have been intruding on your life. Okay, I'm out. No, way more things have happened. This man's just sitting here drunk telling you he told a demon to leave and never come back. And the demon just said he chucked the dudes and dip. Oh, my God. I see why people attack him. I see it. Just Dumb. Man. So... Not too bad for my first exorcism. Not too shabby for his first exorcism. Yeah, I'd say. I All you did was tell him to leave. Blocked by my own, by my own dummy. Oh my god! <laughs> Who's the dummy now? What? Why dummy. would he have that girl though? The guy, the guy dial, I can understand, but the weird one that kind of resembles someone that he would like is kind of odd. <laughs> that goth look that she got. This guy's a weirdo, son, already. Who's the dummy now? King Cobra, JFS, Jack of all trades. Jesus Christ. I'm in for a ride. <laughs> this is insane. This guy's insane already. All right, Snowflake, what we got? YouTube Ooh. is full of interesting characters. I know that is. Characters you wouldn't know about with... He'd be doing that weirdo OnlyFans, I heard. Mm. About the internet. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These people can often be interesting for I don't know who that is. reasons. Perhaps they think they're I don't the know greatest who that is of all time. Maybe they think they're the best relative. Who are all these people? That looks like Joker. Maybe the interest comes from watching them try and fail to achieve what a goal over and over again. But for Josh Saunders, <laughs> a.k.a. I gotta find that movie. He looks just like the older version of him. I swear to God, bro. He King Cobra JFS. He isn't just in He looks crazy. Oh, my God. He's like almost like I don't even like looking at him. He looks disgusting. And he lives in filth. He got a random Ouija. I guess it's Ouija. I've been calling it a Ouija board my whole entire life. But I guess it's called a Ouija. So a Ouija board. Oh, look at his mouth. His eye is gone. That thing went pew and took off on he him. He grabs people's Jeez attention low. for a variety of reasons. Random grips, the uh, vice in the back on he, some shabby old white. He what? can do it all. A jack of all <sighs> trades. And one of those trades. What was the thing? He can Why do it they, all. Oh, my God. You could just see the health decline. Look at his teeth. Just go from that he trash already to rot it out. Trades. And one of that those dirty stud necklace he got. I know it's stank. Trades is cooking. Josh considers himself to be something of a highly skilled chef. Okay. But he's less Gordon Ramsay and more case cooking. I don't know. Yeah. Here's the pizza. Got sushi. I got pig's feet, Doritos. Pig's feet and Doritos <laughs> with sushi on a pizza. Okay. What is that? Mac and cheese and what? Oh, yeah. Mix up that mac and cheese. What is it? Ken Kniff already? Mix it up so good. Oh, yeah. Let's see what that burger looks like. Pause. Before you put the chocolate on top. The chocolate on top of the burger. Oh, there it is, folks. And as well as the food. Oh, and he eats it too. Appealing. Just you know like he was hammered too because Josh cooks it. He would wake up and be like, "Why did I do that? I put chocolate on a cheeseburger." Mm. God, oh, he must have been dangerous. Drunk. Damn it! Yeah, throw some salt on it, bruh. Dumb. The end product yep, may not yep. use Wash it down with a rolling rod. But the journey getting there is usually a lot of fun, and Josh seems to enjoy making the cooking videos. As well as eating the end product. This burger was stacked and made perfectly. Yeah. Have you witnessed such a burger that took your breath away? It said, Come hither and feast upon my excellence. Oh, oh my 
as well as thinking of himself to be something of a chef, Josh thinks of himself as something of a wizard. Okay. A wizard. Exorcist. The fire rises. goes down it rises Woo give me walk sign come on he can't be serious right now no way yeah So this man's walking around looking ugly with a cigar in his mouth playing Harry Potter. Ah. Hey, as soon as I pulled my wand out and waved, How do these people boom, exist. Ah. Almighty thunderstorm, come forth to me on this video I film on my phone. Almighty thunder. Oh, he got the bumpy. Oh my god. Whenever you Jesus, whenever you get this wall, you know. He's living in a trash place, bro. Whenever you got the windows like this and the wall, the textured wall, you know that apartment's trash. Oh, my phone. Oh, my I don't even need to see the outside. outside. Strike for me loud on camera, please. Come forth. Okay, well, clearly he's not the greatest wizard. And boom. The magic wands he uses Cringe. are actually made by Josh himself. Cringe. He even sells them online. Oh, his name's Josh. And people seem to really love the wands. Cobra Craft. Wonderful item 400? was a gift for Father's Hold on. Day, and my son was super excited. The item came with a personalized note which made it that much more special. The dankness is real, folks. My son and I inadvertently got one of these for each other for Father's Day. What a great surprise for both of us. I can't wait to open Carrie Map. Okay, this this is not real. This is obviously a draw. Jesus, I can't wait to open Carrie My Wand. Fine. No laws against it, suckers. Thanks. Dankness. You're the best. Hashtag TWU. It took a while to get here, but it was worth it. Holding the wand in my hand, I can feel the vibrations of some sort of kinetic energy Are flowing really from the wand it? down to my elbow. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm ready to learn. I was able to knock a few empty beer cans off the table just by pointing the wand at them. But I know it's capable of so much more. Can't wait to release the full potential. <laughs> this idiot Cobra probably thinks it. this for my girlfriend, but she broke up with me. Gave it to her anyways. It's a good wand. Facts. Of course you can't please everyone though. Yeah, uh, I purchased the yellow wand, and after many attempts, I have been unable to change traffic lights or summon thunderstorms. Cobracraft wands must have forgotten to put magic in this wand. <laughs> I am very disappointed that my wand is useless. Please give me a refund or send a bottle of magic so I can fix it. A bottle I of magic. Ordered one of his magic wands, but oh, sadly, on, it no doesn't work. Snowflake. See? Rubbish. Weird because it works when Josh uses it. Come on, spring this room. There it goes. Right after waving my wand at it. That was pretty sweet. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Oh, that was it. That was the video. <laughs> he cut. Oh my god. Josh would <sighs> also like to think That's nightmare. Fuel! Jesus Christ, that's an ugly person. Hideous looking creature. Jesus. Think of himself as something of a ladies' man. Oh, Thank you no, for this he does. YouTube is, I know I'm good looking. There's no way he thinks this. There's no way he's being serious. There's no way. I know I have. De I, I know I'm a decent looking guy. Ooh. You know, I know that I'm attractive enough. You know, I got this that mysterious be, yeah. bad boy thing going about me that some chicks just can't get enough of enough of he's just warding off the females man you see him it's because he's attractive duh you would think like he wasn't getting no girls no girl would rock with him no girl would talk to him no no no, no. cobra here is a, a womanizer man he's got him lined up even though when he was at high school he was often accused of being creepy with <laughs> girls yeah. Josh had a good reason for this, though. They were totally into him. 
Girls are all saying he's creepy. It's their fault, man. Fuck you, bitch. It's just because you like me. No, nigga, it's because you look like an abortion. I, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. And I can actually see why Josh thought the girls would be into him. Just because you look like you survived an abortion. I, I shouldn't have said that. Josh had I'm a sorry. good reason I'm sorry. for this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They were totally into him. And I can actually see why Josh thought the girls would be into him. High school girls love a jock, <laughs> or at least they do in the movies, and Josh, believe it or not, was a jock. No. Sort of. He was on the school wrestling team, even receiving a letterman jacket. What? However, he didn't stick it out as he decided the sport was gay and left the team. <laughs> and what else do girls like? They like a guy that's funny. True. So I just flew in here from England and, uh, boy are my arms tired. I don't get it. Snowflake. No, but seriously, what's the deal with airplane food? <laughs> Come on, Snowflake, you're losing them. So, what about this Donald Trump guy, huh? They go. Killing it up there. Punch him. And Josh, to be fair, can be pretty funny. Can I take my shirt off? Alright, let's see why not. There we go. Look at these uh, trap muscles, man. The bones. Grr. Oh my god, low. Oh. You could just. I could smell that apartment from here, bro. Oh my god. The hair, the redness, the. <laughs> That you know he ain't taking no shower and he just bang. The guns club. Ooh. Pause it. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah. Like, buddy. okay, I know it's nerdy as I know it's nerdy as shit, but come on. Come girls. The girls oh, love come it. Come on, it's Darth Vader's lightsaber, dude. Girls love a lisp, a lazy eye, and a dirty apartment. That's what I heard. That's what I got from watching Hitch. That girls love that. Ouch. See, the good thing it's not a real lightsaber. I was just kidding when I said ouch, but if that would have been a real lightsaber, my hand would have been gone. Just, just, just no more guitar playing for Cobra. Uh, if it was and that's how you mountain do it. <laughs> oh man. I might have to watch like a live stream of his just for me. Not even to react to it. Just so I can understand what he does all day. Cause to me, it just looks like, hey, I'm gonna sit here and talk nonsense and I'm gonna drink excessive amounts of alcohol and smoke 30 packs in a uh, stream and you all I, does he get donations i have so many questions i i, I want to know i want to know if this is even worth it like if they, if he's just doing this to do it because he ain't got nothing else to do or if people are really paying for it because i see they bought the wine regardless if people were not like making jokes or whatever trolling them or whatever people still went and spent money so i, I just want to i have so many questions help me understand Women also love a man who is kind to animals. Of course! And Josh isn't just kind to them, he's a regular Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> hey there. Pulled up on a pigeon, huh? Oh. It's a strange animal, I don't even know. <laughs> you don't know what kind of animal that was? Ooh, ooh. I think it might be a pigeon. Ooh, ooh. I think it might be a pigeon. I think sure. it might be a pigeon, I'm not sure. Okay. Don't right. touch it, bro. Be careful. Be careful. Hey. What is he filming on? A Nokia? Hey. Oh, he's touching a dirty old bird. It's a pretty bird, huh? Hey, YouTube. Um, I was walking back to my apartment when up there in the tree. There's an actual owl. It's so cool. 
It's just him trying to be like entertaining. Like, whoa, guys, look! I, I, I found an owl. The owl was in the go. tree. I heard him hooting. I heard him hooting, walking back to my place. And then I decided to hoo back at him. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Women also like a man who can provide. That's and a Josh has had a variety of different jobs over the years. Okay, he's, working. he's worked at Burger King as well as a pizza restaurant. He also worked at Wendy's where his job was to keep the lobby and restrooms clean. <laughs> they pulled up and took a picture of him. <laughs> they caught him lacking. And refilled the cheese. One time, he thought he had the afternoon off work, oh so he decided to dye his hair black. What happened? To he was going bald in the last one. How long ago was this? Got a book about Ozzy. He would. Put it in your hands. Oh in God! Here. Holy crap! This is a fucking idiot. I look like shit. Yeah, before the ink and all that. It turned out he didn't have the afternoon off and was actually late for work, <laughs> so he had to go in with his now blue face. There's no. And going into work late with a blue face wasn't the only time Josh would mess up at work. I had an incident happen to me at work. Uh oh. Last few days. Um, I mixed up the teas again. Tell Ari to put it on. The TV not working. Why? All right, I'll be up there in a minute. Go up on the couch. Again, and I don't do that. Um, I mixed up the teas again, and I don't do that shit intentionally. That's again me at work. You know, with his now blue face, mess up at work. I had an incident happen to me at work. Uh oh. The last few days. What's that? Um. Come on, spit it out. What? I mixed up the teas again. You messed up the teas. I don't do that shit intentionally. Let's get that out of the way right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't want to know. He don't want nothing misconstrued here. He didn't mean to mix the teas up. It was an honest mistake. Tell him. But it doesn't matter if you do that shit intentionally or exactly. not. Exactly. My manager was pretty pissed at of me. Of course. Someone so, that what? wanted unsweetened because of maybe a dietary reason and you pumped them full of sugar, I'd be pissed off too. The story short, um, she scheduled me to work... One day next week. Ha! You know you trash that they give you a Josh day. Josh would eventually be fired from Wendy's. <laughs> it's Despite all right, not doing so well in How his old work is he? life, Josh was actually pretty useful. Uh, well, Josh I got a call from my best friend Judy when I got off work. She's got to hang out. I'm like, yeah, sure. Okay, you know. kick it, yeah. And then she tells me that she has an entity... In the apartment she's staying in. Oh boy, here we go. So she's asking me, hey, could you come help me deal with it? And I said, yeah, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> hey, Cobra, can you swing through after, you know, maybe you, after done with work? Can you come take a look at this ghost I have in my crib? Huh, I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can, you know, get rid of it for you. I, you know, I have no clue what the Bible is or what scriptures I should go to or nothing, but hey, I, yeah. I'll see what I can do. I roll up onto the scene with um <laughs> rolls up. You see he slid through right here. with the wand to an exorcism. No, just think about that. A wand to an exorcism. Again, just like I said earlier, any exorcist movie ever made, have you ever seen the priest skirt up to the crib with a wand, bruh? Keep going, Cobra. Tell me what that wand did. The first person to ever exercise a demon with a wand. Give it to him. Yo, I'm the Marco. Marco. Let's hear it. And then I managed to corner it into the bathroom. <laughs> oh, said, the, the demon was a p and, uh, cornered into the bathroom. The demon. Yeah. It did. Long cloaked hooded figure. With no face. A long cloaked figure 
White? Long cloak hooded figure. Oh, hooded. Okay. Face, kind of a shadowy sort of demonic presence, basically. Yeah, that you cornered. The demonic presence that you cornered in the bathroom with a, a, a fake wand. And, Just um, want all the facts. I demanded it to leave the apartment and to leave Judy's kids alone. Yeah, you demanded it. Demon, leave Judy kids alone and leave this apartment at once. It was, unfortunately, it was attacking one of the kids. I put, I unfortunately. I said, you want to fucking go to the toe, motherfucker. Ooh, he's talking spicy. <laughs> Talking spicy. Back away from me. Back away from me. Wait, what? Hold on. And then it backed into the fucking walls, and then it backed into the wall. So, oh my god. Attached itself to the car that brought me there to the apartment. Wait a minute. Time out. You pull up to the crib. You cornered it in the bathroom. Back it up farther. You get a call from your friend. Hey, I got a demon in here. You say, let me see what I could do. You pulled up with a fake wand that you believe does magic. There has not been one instance where that wand has done anything that you said on command. But, hey, you believe it's real. Cool. You pull up to it to exercise a demon with a fake wand. And what you do is corner the demon into the bathroom. Right? So we're in the bathroom now, cornered. You say you got it up again. It went through the wall and now has jumped into your car and and possessed the car that you pulled up in. Why? What would be the point? The, the, the demon was in the house. You got it out the house. Now it's in the car, right? For some reason, the demon's like, hey, I'm done attacking the kids. I'm done attacking the household. I'm just going to go jump in this dirty dude car. Well, I don't even believe you have a car, but let's just say you have a car and it jumped in the car. This is what you want me to believe. And then it was in the back seat. Oh. I put my hands in the back window and I growled at it. The demonic, basically. I put my hands in the back of the garbage and then in the back seats. I put my hands in the back window and I growled at it in demonic, basically. You growled at it in demonic, basically. I don't even think those were words that you used. I don't know what that means. You growled at it like the... <laughs> Demonic tongue, basically. Oh, there we go. And demonic Please tongue. Go away. Never come back. And it did just that. He so. takes that. Yep. Uh, my job here is done. Uh, we have exercised the demon. Not too bad for my first exercise. Yeah, not too shabby. Yeah. Not too shabby. The fake wand that you pulled up on the demon, cornered it in the room. Then the demon scared, got scared of you, jumped in the back seat of your car for some weird reason. You jumped on the car, growled at it, demonic, whatever that means, and said, hey, you got to go. Demon said, cool, I'm out. Whoa, what do we need priests for? You didn't need a Bible, a priest, holy water, none of that. You just pulled up with a piece of wood. You pulled up with a splinter and just said, hey, get out. And they left. <laughs> God, you're, you're God. You are God. For very minutes, I exercised that demonic presence from the apartment you were staying in. The apartment, the energy, it felt wider. It did. It felt what? Whiter? Racist? Ghost? Demon? What did I miss? The apartment, the energy, it felt lighter. Lighter? And I had my friend Shorty help me out with that. And, uh... I thought, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you did this by yourself. Now you had help? I thought you were God-tier exorcist getter-ritter. I thought that's what you were, the ghost getter-ritter. And you had help? Oh, no, 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 no. Morning, like, a couple hours later, and weird yeah it may all seem a bit silly to some but to be fair to yeah. josh his friend called him up needing help 
and he was straight over to see what he could do. <laughs> and as well as being useful and somewhat brave, Josh also likes to make sure he smells good too. Listen up, you two. Being a man, it's not about playing guitar. I know he don't care about no hygiene. Just look at him. No, being a man, it's not okay, about Okay, I give it to him. Guitar. He can play the guitar pretty well. Being a man, huh? Let me tell you. What about the beer you drink? It ain't even about that, YouTube. <laughs> no, being a man, time for you to man up. You want to smell like a rock star? You want to smell like a badass? Get yourself some tactical soap and start tactical smelling like soap. an alpha male. I've seen people charge way too soap? much money for pheromone products that don't even do the trick, slick. But let me tell you something. Tactical soap gets the ladies in the mood. I need to know dude. what this is. How much money would you pay for a soap that like that? Hundreds, two hundreds. Let me tell you something. Hundreds, two hundreds. Ten dollars ninety-five cents a bar. With shipping, you're looking at a little bit over eleven dollars. Josh has also been known to use Axe body spray as well. Oh my God. Just like another character we know. A lot of women even find hold bald on. men sexy. Although hold Josh on, doesn't agree on, he's going bald on. naturally, hold despite on, losing on, his on, hair on, over on. the years. Hold on, hold Instead, on. Josh has another explanation for it. The reasons why I wear the bandana is because I have trichoteria. It's a picking compulsion. Yeah, shut up about your trichoteria. Hold on, let me see what this... I need to know what this pheromone... So I've never heard of this before. <sighs> no thanks, yeah. Uh... Ice break, what is this? Trifecta mix, why pheromone infused pheromones are natural senses that make men appealing to women. Oh, yeah, this is some incel soap. Okay. Where the person who has trichoteria, they pick out their hair, basically. Trichoteria. I have in the past picked out hair from the top of my head in this general area right here. And Josh has tried <sighs> everything to get his hair to grow back. Um, I've been taking a little bit of mayonnaise and spreading it on my widow's peak right here and right up in here. And then I'll take a little bit of mayonnaise and put it on the spots on the back of my head where I've picked up. Oh, just smelling like vinegar and whatever mayo's. Oh, God. He's putting mayo in his hair. Imagine in the summertime. Oh, my God. God, my hair. Women also love a guy who can play guitar, and Josh is known for his guitar skills. But it's not the only instrument he plays. Uh oh. Playing pants makes it a lot harder than it looks. You see, she'll go. It's like, get it. Now you're just showing off. <laughs> yeah, just stick to the guitar, Playboy. There you go. He's also something of a rapper. So, how are we going to do this? No, he's not. I don't even want to watch it anymore. There's no way. There's no way he's about to spit a freestyle. Oh, hold on a second. I'm going now, rapping like ranting is an art form. It's like poetry, really. Yeah. I mean, you can't just dirt go off bag on in a the rant corner. without actually knowing what the fuck you're talking about. And rapping, in a sense, is no different. I mean, you got, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta know what the fuck you're saying to make it fucking sound good. You yeah, that too, and, you know, you can't you know, rap about anything. Well, you could, but, you know. You're gonna be a Slim Shady. <laughs> now, I was rolling up to the Walmart looking for a game for my. He did. He rapped. He spit. Okay, let's hear it. Let's start it and now let's hear it. I was rolling up to the Walmart looking for a game for my PS3. And what should I happen to see but GTA San Andreas? I was like, oh, damn. Plugged it in, got the PS3 rolling. Come to find out the cheat codes ain't going. Man, what the fuck? I'm sitting here flowing. This ain't the same. I fucking hit the arrow button and it's showing me my stats. I don't want no motherfucking stats, man. I'm trying to get my fucking cheat code on. Man. Oh, I 
wish I never heard that. That was trash. Trash. Hey, Rockstar, what the hell? You fucked up on the PS3 version. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I got to figure this shit out. <laughs> I try entering the cheat codes to get shotguns and all kinds of guns and blowing loads. But, man, the cheat codes ain't Pause. Good. What? The raps are going. Sitting there. With the car broke down, towing to the station. Oh Look at me my god, no stop it. I got raps on the mind like you got constipation. This is it. I'm Dog, this is the worst rap I've ever heard in my entire life. What is this dude doing? Just play the guitar. You guitar well. You play that well. I saw the little shredding. Just stick to that. Leave this alone. Sitting there taking a shit on your face. Oh, what a perfect place to just jump right back into the trash. It should be legal. It's just the plant better for you than tobacco is, so don't even answer me with it. It can't. He thought he was about to kill it, too. You see, he just jumped in. Yo, yo I got this, Cobra. Let me drop this. It be legal. It's just the plant better for you than tobacco is, so don't even answer me with it. With it, I can't. Don't even answer me with it, I can't. What? What does that mean, sir? What does it mean? What does it mean? Now, here's the thing. Just because tobacco and alcohol is legal don't mean shit. Wiggleize the weed and keep tobacco and alcohol legal as well. Because what kind of hell? If you sit there and say, well... Marijuana is safer. Maybe we should make alcohol and tobacco legal. Fuck that. We already tried alcohol prohibition. And in case you've been missing history, it didn't work, you fucking jerk. Oh. Oh, and he hit him with the O, oh, too. Like he dropped the. Oh. Stop it. Enough. No. Okay, the rapping may not No, be no, better, no. But he's still better than a lot of rappers out there. No, he's Josh has even No, he's not. I don't know what just that. And just like with the ones Fans go crazy for his music. Fans go Maybe crazy. The song on the album. Great song to have stuck in your head <laughs> while washing dishes. <laughs> this boy can sing. The singer sounds like a young Ozzy Osbourne. They got it. This got to be trolls. There's no Please way this is true. Here. Love your stuff, Josh. Keep up the amazing work. This is real music, bro. <laughs> <laughs> for all the reasons. I why do you guys sound like that? More, it's easy to see why Josh has had quite a few girlfriends. One of his oh. lady friends was a woman named Stephanie. Stephanie would often appear in Josh's videos. Usually Stephanie was just getting quiet, sexually assaulted on cam. Anything really. After Josh received quite a few comments from people claiming he wasn't treating Stephanie good enough, he responded. So a lot of y'all are like, uh, you, Stephanie be so much better than him. Yeah. yeah. Can't she though? Just, I don't know. Well, I want. I want to leave the well, young girl alone. Guess what? I just made Stephanie a hot pocket and got her some Dr Pepper. Oh, he got her a Dr Still Pepper. Shit talking. Good hell. Who, what does he film on? Or how long ago was this that it looked so bad? It's four meats and cheese. That's right, to prove he was treating his woman right, he made her a hot pocket. <laughs> but to be fair, Stephanie seemed pretty... The way to any woman's heart. Sadly, though, the relationship would not last. Of course not. Josh He's a dirtbag. ...with a pregnant woman he met at a gas station for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> Wait, what? ...with a pregnant woman he met at a gas station for a pack of cigarettes. He went on a date with a pregnant girl for a pack of cigarettes? Jesus Christ, how low are you getting here, brother? Cigarettes. And one of Josh's friends even joined in. This wasn't what the on the date, or? though, but it definitely didn't help. Stephanie forgave him for this. However, Stephanie would also go on to cheat. Ooh. Thankfully, Josh wasn't bitter about the whole situation. Jesus! All right, super hot. Scott, super hot all of a sudden. All right, go on to cheat. 
Thankfully, Josh wasn't bitter about the whole situation. People are informing me that my ex-girlfriend uh, Stephanie does videos. Quite frankly, I don't care. YouTube's a big enough platform. I'm yeah. an adult. She's an adult. We can all share this okay, platform good. peaceful.ly Look at However, that. However, being the bigger man in the I whole think it's situation. Cute how she's copying my style. All right. And all it right. all just goes away wow. as soon as you say that. The same format, too. You know, the difference is she ain't making wands. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> He's flexing them trash ass wands. He's had smaller ones that have lasted barely a uh. day. Some a little longer than a day. Creepy picture, man. You got to be more mindful then when then you look summer, that bad, dog. Josh bragged about how he was having intercourse with a new lady. However, he wouldn't reveal who it was. But then Josh messed up by posting on Summer's Facebook wall. <laughs> Dumb. Summer was into some pretty unique things, especially dressing up. This relationship had promise. Okay. Sadly, though, once again, the relationship ended Hot after Summer claimed that Josh's fans hacked into her Facebook <laughs> to delete the only picture she had of her kid. She just couldn't handle the oh, Josh's nah, family. that was wrong. That's wrong. You shouldn't have. That's crossing the line. I don't like that. Stardom. Taking it way too far. I don't like that. Josh was getting a lady friend, then they would leave him. <laughs> so his solution was to buy a lady friend that couldn't leave him. Josh wanted to buy a blow up doll. Oh my. He set up No he's not. No he is not. No way. A GoFundMe page for the doll he wanted, which cost a GoFundMe dollars. However, the page was deleted. <sighs> okay, jeez. Josh then received a one See, I knew something was up with the ventriloquist doll, man. I knew something was up. There's no... Why would you get a ventriloquist doll that looks all gothy like that unless you were into it? And now we understand. Thousand dollar doll from a fan. Thousand dollars? was not the exact doll he wanted. He would take the gesture... Look how happy and creepy. Oh, my God. Look at the creep. ...as a compliment. Disaster struck, though, as Josh <laughs> told his audience via Facebook... That a thief broke into his apartment and <laughs> stole the doll. Josh later claimed that the police found the doll destroyed in the back of a meth addict's car who had allegedly tried to get scrap metal out of it. <laughs> you guys are dust. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. Getting reporting it to the police that your little freak doll got robbed, or the person that stole it for scrap. I'm trying to get some metal out of it to sell it. <laughs> However, it didn't take Josh long to come clean and admit that he destroyed the doll. Oh. He got angry after ripping its special area during use. What I did was rather eerie to say the least. Ye Sent as a gift from a fan, Josh received a miniature version of the doll no. that he had been wanting to No, 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 Stop, 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 stop. Of its you can't just put that, that it was eerie. What did you do to it? What did you do to the doll? Sent as a gift. I don't care about that. Long to come clean and admit that he destroyed the doll because he got angry after ripping its special area during use. Okay. Definitely giving me Dahmer vibes. You dis dismembered a, a sex doll. Because you were mad while said act with sex doll was happening. This man needs to be locked up in a cage. He shouldn't be outside being able to walk around people like me. He's insane. It's okay. You gave him a miniature. Josh received a miniature version of the doll that he had been wanting to purchase. Freak. Unlike the last doll sent to him, this Josh approved of its quality and therefore decided to keep the doll oh at least now youtube i won't be alone on valentine's day this one is like a child why is this dude like doing this like is he like a mm, a pedo type like why is he okay with the kid looking like whatever whatever <laughs> no but and he laughs. Oh, I won't be alone. Just when it looked like Josh couldn't be more entertaining, he suddenly was. 
Although a lot of the credit must is it entertainment though? JFS. Are people really entertained, or they just like watching the train wreck? Spelling Cobra with a K rather than a C. Yes, Josh had a copycat, his very own Liquid Chris, if you will. Liquid Chris. The new Cobra claimed that he was indeed the real King Cobra, Ooh. and that the old Cobra was nothing but a Cobra beef. Fake. And needless to say, Josh was not impressed. Now, speaking of Cobra Craft Wands, the phony Cobra has made cobra. this video making fun of my business. <laughs> Sound like DSP, my business. That's my business? It's so pathetic, dude. Like, you people have seen me make wands on social media. Trash. Off the bat, you can see he definitely stole the Cobra from my logo that had an awesome fan. That eye is like... A, a, a quick turn away from disappearing. I'm sorry. I just can't. Like when I'm trying to listen to what I'm saying, I'm waiting for that eye just to completely roll back into the scalp and look in his brain. And design for me. That's what he can see his own thoughts with that wrong line, man. The highest possible quality. <laughs> Unlike He's that phony cobra who uses phony fake cobra. leather and. <laughs> Getting trolled. He better not take this. Don't take the bait, brother. Don't take the bait, Waters please. Waters down his paints. Our wands are guaranteed. <laughs> ah, okay. The leather I get is leather string, oh which is God. made in India. How do you not know? Do you? These people have, like, so little self-awareness that they know that these people are trolling them. How do you not realize these people are trolling you when they say stuff like that? They're critiquing a fake wand. How can you not tell in your head that they're just trying to get a right? Water-based paints. Okay, you see me make wands on YouTube how many times? <laughs> Hold on. Let's take a look at one of these spray paint cans. And he just, he just vanishes into the oh uh, the God. abyss of trash. You know, made me laugh, bro. Like I was like, dude, this phony cobra wishes you was as cool as me. It's so pathetic. Cool. Cobra craft a better <laughs> wand. <laughs> wow, dude, that was so pathetic. And right after he gives me shit. For selling him for twenty four dollars, he sells them for one penny less. <laughs> With shipping, it's still going to be over twenty four dollars. <laughs> so really, he laughs. Say at this point, to the fake King Cobra, thank you for the free advertisement. Because it doesn't matter how you spell it, it still sounds the same as mine. You wish you were as cool as me, but you're a poor parody of me, and it's quite pathetic. Josh, even he doesn't think he's cool, though, right? Is that like, because I'm not sure if I'm into, the, like, I'm not, I'm like, this is my first time seeing him, so I don't know if this is, like, what what the jokes are in this whole world of his. I don't know if, but he knows he's not cool, though, right? Like, that's, he knows it, and it's just, like, a little, what's it called? Self-deprecating humor he's got, or does he really believe he is, like, all these things he says, good-looking, cool, ladies love him. There's no way he can actually think like that. I, I just... I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think he could really think this way, looking the way he looked. Because you got to look in the mirror. You see, you be like, oh. I remember I was bigger too, like 50 pounds bigger than I am, 50 pounds bigger. And I looked in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, I got to do something about this. You could just tell. But I know when you, you look in the mirror, you see your eye, pew, gone. It's just a white. And your teeth, the way you look, like, man. Eh. Whatever. Maybe maybe he doesn't. Maybe he really does believe he's cool. Then made videos more power to him, I guess. <laughs> to prove he was the real one. Again, just like Chris Chan. Josh was understandably unhappy about this Chris copycat, Chan. and who can blame him? I wouldn't be happy if another snowflake appeared. Hey, what's this? Another Are snowflake. The snowflake? <laughs> hey, everybody. I am the real Mr. Snowflake. That other guy is nothing but a poser. Everyone knows Mr. Snowflake has a black hood, not a silly blue one. Hey, what about that big Lenny, huh? And what about Jason Genova? Those Delray misfits sure are crazy. <laughs> oh, he's right about the misfits. Maybe he is the real Mr. Snowflake. Some oh, good guitar. Guitar better than me too. I guess maybe I'm not the real Snowflake. But if I'm not Snowflake, then. Who am I? From now on, YouTube, you can call me 
Them they flake. <laughs> they them flake. <laughs> them as well as the fake cobra <laughs> trying to mess with Josh, so did some other people. Uh oh. They would order pizzas to his house and yep. pay for them. Typical. The same thing happened with Charlie Zelenoff. I don't know what it is. Pizza <clears throat> is child's play compared to what I'm about to show you. Oh, and they watch him eat too. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Gross. <laughs> what? Bruh. Y'all, it's... Okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Troll him. Type in chat, Kiki ugly. Ha, ha, ha. Teeth destroyed. Look trash. Your wand's trash. House is terrible. Ah, uh ah. -uh. When you start involving the police... You're not, that's not an own. You're a rat. You're a ter like a, like a cornball, for real. Mm -hmm. To ever bring police in a, a, someone else's house that you don't like. That's where, like, you cross the line. That's not funny. That's no, you don't get no points for it. Like, that's a whole nother level of, like, it's just whack. Like, first of all, we, we grown up, well, and me, you just don't do, the, call the police. Like, for, especially for no reason, just to do that. You don't call the police in general. <laughs> like you don't even mess with police you don't even want to talk to them people but to do it just as a joke it's just so it's so cringy to me it's not funny it's not a it's not an own that you called the police like of what did you think they weren't like not gonna show up like i don't understand the joke i don't just okay so this is the joke this is what i'm not understanding cops show up over a call that's not true then they leave yeah, one time, well, I don't know if it was once, but the one main was when that dude got shot and killed. Just show, goes to show you that it's not funny, but that one dude got killed. But that was one time that I heard of. One time. So what's the joke? And he, that clearly isn't funny. So what is the joke? I don't understand. Maybe I'm not online as much as I should be to understand all the jokes. I don't get it. I get it. The local Frustrate. police stormed Josh's house. The way he jumped up, though, I feel him on that one. That would terrify me. That ain't no joke, man. When the people Josh not claimed he was going to harm his wife and children. Yeah, that's not funny. This it's just not funny to me. Very pleasant experience for Josh. In fact, and like the people that think that is funny, they're just cornballs to me. They really are because it's like you can't. Don't talk to police. Okay, first of all, you're not supposed to be calling police. Uh, well, okay, let me back it up. <laughs> you could talk to police. Calling them for no reason. It's just snitch. Shit, for real, bro. It's just, you're just a rat at that point. It must have been pretty scary. You must have to really hate a guy to try and hurt him. Like you just got to be corny, not even hate. Someone like, else who wasn't a fan of Josh tried to hurt And when him. they do that to like DSP and other people, like it's just not funny. It's just, it's really not that funny. It's not that serious. It's not that funny. It's just not a joke to me. In another way, a way perhaps even more extreme and more terrifying than calling the police. 66 King Cobra for disabling his chats and being a pansy to kids. Disabling what his is chats. this? Order 66 King Co JFS, you piece of crap. Order 66, your candy ass piece of boy. At least Josh has some good friends he can what? rely on to get him through the tunnel. Who was times. that? Friends like Steve. Although maybe Steve wasn't one of the better friends. Because Steve, Steve. tried to get with Summer when Josh was with her. Steve was Ooh, something very Steve. So they had things in common. Although I'm not <laughs> sure if Summer tried to make love to an inflatable goat, like Steve apparently did. What? <laughs> Josh would go on to an inflatable goat. Forgive Steve for this. However, Steve would make his own video defending himself <laughs> and telling everyone that Summer said Josh was unclean and how. Well, she did did you need to take just look at the stream? Look at the room he's in. Of course, you, that's an obvious a given. Really want to be with Josh. 
Steve quickly deleted the video, though. Oh, you didn't keep that same energy, Steve. Very good friend. Then perhaps homeboy Scotty was the better friend to John. Okay. After all, still dirty looking. Outraged at the whole summer Steve situation. Fuck him. Steve tried to fuck Josh's girl. That's what he did. Oh, is that the dude that was rapping? And like the with the trash rap. He was trying to get down her pants and shit. Although even homeboy Scotty wasn't a perfect friend to Josh. <laughs> Scotty had promised Josh that he would hook him up with a black-haired, green-eyed goth named Bailey, who played the guitar oh and listened God. to Cradle of Filth. Cradle of Filth. That is a handle if I've ever heard one. Cradle of Filth. It's like his room. For the two to meet, Bailey always cancelled due to some last-minute emergency. After this went on and on, Fans began to question if Scotty was for real. I don't even know what Cat. It is the. Means, but no, I'm being for real when I say I got him a girl and I fucking tried. Scotty then told Josh that Bailey had changed her phone number to avoid telemarketers. Jesus, no, she changed that phone number to not go around this creep. You can't go around some dude that looks like he's on the registry. He reminds me of Brian Pepper. Do y'all remember Brian Pepper? Do you remember Brian Peppers? He reminds me of Brian Peppers. Brian Peppers. That's him. Brian Peppers. You, I would change my number if I look like Brian Peppers. So now it was almost impossible to reach her. Josh, though, believed Scotty was actually legitimate. Now, I'm not trying to talk smack on anyone in this video. <laughs> However, Scotty talk did say that smack. he was going to try to introduce me to a chick, and a chick. it kind of backfired a little bit. The last couple of days, every time me and Scott attempt to go hang out with chicks, something just happens. Oh and God, just that sentence, you can't even believe it's true. You know you're not getting none, bro. None. Well, except that one, but you can't say go hang out with chicks. What are they, deaf? Blind? Wheelchair bound? Even that. Still don't think they would rock with you, bro. Thing from happening. You know, it's not Scotty's fault. Getting his hopes up only for them to be sure. Sure, duct tape on his chair. Never mind. I'm, I'm not even going to be surprised anymore. I'm, I, I don't even. You know, I'm sick and tired of. Oh, he slicked the hair back. Only to find out. Only to get let down like this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's him getting ready? He was about to go out? Dirty old boots. People are going to sit there and try to cross examine this. And they're going to sit there and say. Well, this just sounds like a repeating pattern, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Something else that wasn't Look at that. Do you know it's not going to be true. About Scotty, or more specifically, R.I.P. Homeboy Scotty. When Josh made He's a dead? video about the death of Elvis Presley's guitarist, Scotty Moore, fans began using the phrase R.I.P. Homeboy oh. Scotty. <laughs> and because Josh would react to it, people kept using the phrase. And Josh still to this Homeboy day Scotty? didn't help himself but react. Homeboy Scotty did not die. <laughs> I posted a video entitled Rest in Peace Scotty Moore, guitarist for Elvis. Basically, that should tell you that the guitarist for Elvis Presley has just passed away. And one person commented, Oh, sorry to hear about your homeboy, or something like that. One person commented, in fact, let me just, one person commented, Rip Homeboy Scotty. To which I replied, He did not die. So then that the must teeth be, ain't looking that bad in this one. It must be jumping through time, and I'm just not catching it because it just like keeps. It's not that bad. Then it's rotted out. Then it's not that bad. Then they're just might as well just be gone. The gun drop. I mean that ten to twenty other motherfuckers gonna jump in and say the exact same goddamn thing to the point where I'm just repeating myself. So let me reassure you with this video: my okay, whole society did not die. He's alive and well. The double date is still on for Friday. Ooh. Wow. Thanks for the donation, troll. <laughs> Fuck you. Homeboy Scotty is still alive, by the way. Why well, would that get I you mad, though? I don't understand that. So like, there. people's words get you this upset. They gave you money. Who cares what they say? I know, That's just... Maybe I've never experienced being... 
like troll troll like I, I have but not to the like every day of my life maybe it to some point that like because i made videos where people like andrew tate people went off on me it was like i'm this i'm that i'm can't be serious shouldn't have a daughter like every single one of them never really affected me because you know why you just turn the computer off and then all of it goes away and you don't have to see it again so to be Upset like this, especially when they're directly giving you money, never made sense to me. They're creating a YouTube channel called Homeboy. I've been in real situations, real issues, real problems in real life. A random dude on the internet is not going to bother me enough. It's not going to bother me. I, it's just me, though. Man, I'm different. Scotty's funeral fund and then saying, hey, could you help pay for my coffin? You're fucking stupid, dude. You know that? All the uh, rip homeboy Scotty comments are going to get you banned from my channel. Just so you oh know. my Another god, important friend to Josh is Chris. When Chris was down, Chris Chan, look, Josh let Chris stay in his studio apartment with him. Chris was unemployed, which <laughs> meant that he would okay. usually be in the background of Josh's videos and usually would just be playing Grand Theft Auto. Being broke, it was a lovely thing for Josh to do to allow his friend to stay with him, but they say no good deed goes unpunished. Uh -oh. Chris would start to agitate Josh. He would constantly correct Josh and interrupt his videos. Josh bit his tongue for a long time, but Josh is only human apparently, and he could only take so much. So this had a little bit of everything in it, minus um, the fish, which would be in the dairy actually. So yeah, so this, this pretty much... Can, the fish goes on protein, meats. Chris? Do you have to correct me every fucking video I make? Why the fuck would you think that fish is a dairy product? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. Sounded stupid, brother. He's just trying to help you out. That's how I feel. My dog fresh. Sometimes you just got to correct him because he'd be wrong. I feel for Chris, man. I like Chris. This has got to be a bit. This can't be real. Now it's like now I'm not. Now it's not that fun. All that is dairy. Peanut go into uh, proteins, which are meat. Maybe there's a slip of the tongue. It happens. Okay, stop correcting me every fucking video. I'm getting sick and tired of it. Why is he getting turned? You were wrong. <laughs> Why would you get this mad about being completely idiotic and wrong? Why would this mad be get you? Whatever. Just get you mad. Why? Anyway. Yeah. This meal here contain a little bit of everything that you need for a healthy meal. It contains the meat, your wheat, your dairy, protein. Come on, Chris. Okay, your wheat. Jump back in there, dog. The sugar. Don't let him talk to you like that, Chris. We'll get to that in a minute. Come on, Chris. Chris, <laughs> don't let him don't, keep talking, Chris. Keep talking, Chris. Okay, the jelly had a little bit of sugar in it. And the vegetables had the fruits, the pepper and the tomato. Um, had the wheat, the meats. Here's your dairy right here. Okay, that was an easy to make meal. I can. Thankfully, Chris would finally find a job at oh, Walmart. Come on, but Chris. I like to be unemployed, man. I'd watch it if Chris was still there. I like Chris's energy. Anytime soon. Shit, what is today? Uh, today is Sunday. Okay. Why? Uh. Do you have court Monday? <laughs> court? Chris, what you doing, dog? All of Josh's relationships with women seem to start and end fairly quickly. Oh, my God. Didn't That's a greasy horror either, show. <laughs> so it's no wonder Josh drinks. However, sadly for Josh, he would be banned from his favorite bar for making a big scene when they cut him off one night. Oh. Josh went on to make a video where he spoke badly about the bar, 
and unfortunately for That's Josh, like, the man, our house probably looked like Pazuzu crib. Not man. being able to go to his favorite bar any longer, Josh began drinking more and more at home, oh, which boy. meant we would get to see more drunk Josh than ever before. Hey guys, this is Chris Moore. Chris. <laughs> Yo, what do you think behind my brother, Josh? Uh oh. He's the one gonna help me make the videos. Or certain videos. Oh, Check out his God. channel. Warlord 771. He's got a couple good cool videos. Shut up! What is he doing? He's a little drunk. How is he not evicted? Why I am here. And you can tell he ain't getting no deposit. But how is he not kicked out for acting this way? So he just be just growling like that with a bunch of men around? Oh, he's getting choked out by Chris. Oh my God. Yeah, we know. Is he pretending to be like like a demon? So there we have it. Josh is <laughs> oh one of the most God. entertaining characters on the internet. Oh sure, God. he may not be the most. I don't famous, like that. Dow just. I don't like that. Man, to it's that. too. But he's great <sighs> entertainment for many. A better watch than a lot of rubbish. What's on TV now? And at least Josh isn't afraid to be totally one hundred percent himself. Unlike a lot of cooks, it's not always the right thing to do. He's confident enough in himself to be what he is a weirdo Jack of all trades and a master of none. And that YouTube is what's up. That's most definitely what's up. Well, <sighs> this guy is something else. Uh, I see why y'all attack him. <laughs> I can see why. I mean, hey, man. I will say, even though so far in my trip down the low cow, in the low cow lane, he is the he's maybe the dirtiest one. But he is the least, He's at least he's not begging. That's a big thing for me. He's not asking for money, well, that I've seen in this. I don't know if he does, but I haven't seen. And uh, there's no incest, thank God. Questionable activity with the doll. I don't really like the change from the adult to the kid. Not really feeling that. But there is no incest. So, so far... DSP, low tier God. Uh, who, what else I get? Um, uh, Chris Chan, in this dude. I'm still saying DSP is probably the worst. It's got to go DSP, low tier God, Chris Chan, and then him. He is not the is the worst out of those so far. Weirdo, complete weirdo, very bad looking gentleman, but hey, he's not the worst one I've seen so far, but listen, I appreciate all y'all for rocking with me, make sure you subscribe, have more videos coming out, go